only animals' lives on the line, man. It's not, it's not a big deal. It's only, it's only slaughterhouses, factory farms, and, you know, murdered animals, so. It's <laughs> <laughs> a fair point. I was vegan for about seven months. I did actually lose quite a lot of weight. Maybe yeah. we just wouldn't have enough calorie-dense food. Come on, I'll issue. pick you up. You I did quite like the taste of fish. Though. Exactly, so that's more like a, yeah, you like you just like the taste. But I tried to eat for fish just on its own. It's not that nice as it's raw. Neither is chicken raw. No, I can't eat chicken raw. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Yeah, exactly. So you wouldn't exactly. eat tofu raw, would no, you? Yeah. I mean, I can. I, I eat like a block like this. <laughs> but do you think what happens to animals is wrong? Definitely morally wrong. Yeah, but why aren't you vegan if you know the truth? Hi. Go on, mate. Farm Sanctuary. I don't have long, but I just wanted to say hi. Hi, brother. I do. I used to watch some of your videos, actually. Oh, really? Cool. You, you know Gary, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did watch your videos. My friend did as well, I think. Uh, hello, how are you? Nice hi. to see you. Do you like... I might be a bit of a hypocrite, but do you like my hoodie? Uh, if I'm a, I assumed you were vegan and you're wearing a sanctuary top and you're I, not. I, I got this when I used to be vegan. You used to? So now the animals are being rescued from you. So why aren't you I vegan anymore? I one of the pigs there called Colin. Oh, really? Do you um, eat pigs? I, not that often, but... So you eat Colin? <laughs> not you, eat be, you eat beans <laughs> like Colin? But so you eat Frankie and... I do and... eat pork sometimes, actually. Okay. <laughs> and why? Even though I do like pigs, I, I could easily cut out pork. I, I actually love pigs, so it's a bit weird. I was vegan for about... Seven months. I, I enjoyed it and I, I felt quite good, but I, I feel like after a while, like after maybe five, six months, I just felt that I started to miss the animal products to be honest. What do you mean? Did you have less energy or something? The main things were that I, I did actually lose quite a lot of weight. Doing Sounds it. like you were. Maybe we uh, just wouldn't have enough calories, but I guess it's harder to find calorie dense foods. Come <laughs> I know, on, I'll pick issue. you up. You gotta. It, you it, you it, can it, just increase your your calories. But I remember because I felt like I, at the time I felt like I was eating. You know, I was eating constantly. I just eat what I used to eat when I wasn't vegan. Like if I want pasta, we have spaghetti bolognese, so processed pasta. Some people when they go vegan, it's just like beans and broccoli and salad and yeah, yeah. fruits and and then they just drop in their calories down. I did have quite a lot of whole foods because I wanted to. I wanted to keep it healthy, um, so I avoided some of the processed food. The main reason, though, I probably just because I feel like it's easier to for me to stay healthy when I have okay. animal products because they are quite nutritious. Yeah, nutritious can be, mean a lot of things. I mean, I mean what do you mean by nutritious? On a vegan diet, it's harder to get, um, I don't know if it's impossible. Is it impossible to get B12 or not no, impossible? No, because they fortify the food and then uh, omega-3 oh, you can get from uh, chia seeds and walnuts. Can you get enough from that? Because yeah. I, when I was vegan, I just had porridge a lot with chia seeds, which is quite nice. Yeah, um, but you got to grind them up. You get flax seeds fine. Or you can take a DHA supplement, vegan algae supplement. It's easy. I did quite so, like the taste of fish. Though. Exactly. So that's more like a yeah. You like you just like the taste. But so I, it, it is a tasting, yeah, isn't it? Maybe. You, you seem like a trim guy already. Quite trim. Yeah. You seem I, trim. I have a fast metabolism. <laughs> yeah. I so maybe you might well. run into issues if you lower your calories. So you got to be exactly, careful. Yeah. But that's just a little bit extra olive oil, mate. Like I don't know. Like I love olive oil. So yeah, yeah. So what can tend to happen is so you fall back into your old mindset, and because if you're not, if you don't have a good support group, of, well, it might not be what happened. How could you have a moral position and then not have a moral position, that's all? I feel like maybe I've tried to justify myself by saying that I need it for my health, but it's probably not entirely true. So, so I mean, my, in my situation, it did affect my health a little bit in, like a, in a negative way. Yeah, because way. you did. I mean, I could, I'm not saying that's that completely justified. I could be a like, meat eater and eat 800 calories a day and, um, and, and then be like, well, eating meat harmed my health. And I'll say, no, we ate, it was eating 800 calories a day harmed your health. So yeah, was it really a plant-based diet or was it something that you were doing, so, something else? No, that's true. I felt like when I was a vegan that I was eating, I was eating healthily. And I was, yeah, eating, you nutri be eating, I was eating nutritious food. You might not have been eating um, enough. Maybe it wasn't enough calories. But did you track your calories at all? I didn't, so. so. Let's just say I'm eating a certain amount of food. Some of it's cheese, yeah? I go vegan, I take the cheese out, and I didn't replace it with vegan cheese because I didn't like it. So you've just removed two, three hundred calories a day. Do you know what I'm saying? So you could, you could just be saying, pulling your calories down lower. Oh, so you're saying I, I probably was reducing you, my calories. You probably mindlessly because I wasn't because you weren't, it. you didn't replace the cheese. Yeah, I didn't track any of this. So this is just like, it's just me guessing. I assumed I probably didn't have enough calories, and maybe I'm blaming it on the less calorie dense foods. But I think because I, I feel like the volume of food I had, and I was eating quite often. I felt, like, I thought that would maybe counterbalancing it, but no, volume, I wasn't sure because I didn't keep track of Volume calories. doesn't translate to calories. So, no, not quite, but it not was quite a, quite a lot. Volume. volume can translate yeah. to lower calories, Could especially do. in the vegan context because of the uh, amount of fibre and water in plant foods. 
you know, so like if you're eating a little bit extra roughage, like lettuce, kale, broccoli, vegetables, uh, potatoes, things like those, they're very low calorie dense foods, but yeah. they are very voluminous. So you might be like, whoa, I'm full. And yes, then, but not for it to fill you up like on its own, surely. No, I mean like, but if you were having yeah. like, say you were having potatoes, beans, and a bunch of broccoli. That'd be quite fitting. Yeah. And if you just had a little extra broccoli, you could displace your calories with dilute food. So that yeah. over time you're having 300 calories less every single day for six months and then you can run into a deficit and you'd be like, I feel like shit. So tracking is a good idea at the start, especially when you're... Maybe that's something I should have done. I, I guess I didn't think about it at the time. Yeah. I, mean, I think it's only animals' lives on the line, no, man. It's, it's, not, just... it's not a big deal. It's only, it's only slaughterhouses, factory farms and, you know, murdered animals. So maybe tracking might be a, ni a nice thing to do, but... <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. And when I went vegan in 2013, there wasn't all of these influences, there wasn't all of these resources, there was much less actually available, there was hardly any YouTubers, there was hardly any like videos like this to help, there was nothing. But I was just like, you know what, I'm a vegan, that's it. But I did it wrong. I ate too much raw food, I ate too much watermelon, and my stomach, I got stomach aches. Then I realized, oh, I just gotta eat what I normally eat, but vegan and try to make it like, I don't wanna eat heaps of junk. Now I gotta be careful, I'll I just, I just put on weight so easily. You're in good shape though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm in good shape. I got, I got. You must um, go to the gym quite a lot as well. A little bit, yeah. I've been training again lately, but yeah, I have no problem maintaining main, my muscles. Like, what are your main protein sources when you're when you're a vegan? When I'm when I'm training, I like a, a lot of tofu. Tofu is more fatty. You got tempeh as well. I eat seitan. We eat a lot of mock meat as well, but we eat it with vegetables. We eat it with. Yeah, because I'm gonna say it's not nutritious at all. Is nah, it? yeah, I don't want to look. I, I'm under no illusions that. You know, some of the vegan stuff is not healthy, but food high in protein is going to feel. Yeah, like if you find it? some good seitan, like if you press some tofu or whatever, a few fried tofu to make it like oily and crunchy, and uh, yeah, I used I, to do that. I think I made because I tried tofu first, just on its own. It's not that nice, is it? Raw, Neither is chicken raw. No, I think I eat chicken raw. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, exactly. So you wouldn't exactly. eat tofu raw. Would no, you? I mean um, I can. I eat like a block like this. Okay. <laughs> And then yeah. tried um, scrambled tofu, I think I tried. Yeah. Sort of like to replace kind of scrambled Yeah, nutritional egg. yeast, scrambled tofu, ketchup, bread. It was like, quite nice. Eat actually. like a normal person, but like vegan. You know what I mean? Yeah. That I think people overthink it. They're like, I'm a vegan now. It's watermelon and cabbage for dinner. And then they're just, like, I don't think that's what you did, but I, I do. Oh, see, oh, yeah, I definitely didn't do that. I do see people yeah. like not re recognizing that their stomach capacity is oh, actually yeah. tuned to higher calorie dense food. So like a sandwich or yeah. something, or, yeah. you know, and then when they go vegan, they change their entire diet, so even the calorie density, and then they run into like, slowly creeps up on a calorie deficit. I do play quite a lot of sports, yeah. I work out sometimes. Okay. But I feel like I also eat a lot, so I must have a fast metabolism. Yeah. Um, so that probably made it also harder when I was vegan. Be a bit mindful. It meant that I should have had more calories, maybe I could have kept track of it. Oh, also, what do you think about like, um, cedars and stuff. Yeah. I, I don't know that much about the nutrition of it, but I know, a lot a lot people, of, some people say it's really unhealthy and some people think it's all right. It's I would assume it's not that healthy. Well, no, but it, I don't well, think it depends it's what like, you mean. I mean, um, it's not, it's, so like, it's high in calories and it's heart healthy. But the people who talk about it, like Paul Saladino and that, they use like in vitro rat studies, they don't use human, human population data. When you replace saturated fat, which is the fat predominant in meat, and it's also in plant foods, but it's predominant in meat. When you replace yeah. saturated fat with PUFAs, which are polyunsaturated fats, you reduce heart disease risk by 30%. Can you fact check me? Because I think that's true. But yeah, they're healthy foods. There's no human population data that I'm aware of that suggests that these seed oils are unhealthy. Really the carnivore mean? people are, yeah, yeah. they're a bit quacky dude. Yeah, I haven't actually seen many, I don't know many kind of Yeah, but they're the ones who spread the seed and the seed oil propaganda. Also, Aladino thinks broccoli is, is trying to kill us. Yeah. This is the same people who think I seed think oils are unhealthy. I say that, yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't think I trust their opinion yeah. around then. Um, but it's really nice talking to you. And um, the animals nice need you. you. Yeah. You've got a nice heart. I don't think, uh, I think that you would be complete, very utterly disturbed if I talked you into the places where these animals have to live in order to bring you their body parts. Pigs used to be one of my favorite animals when I was a vegan. And I still like them now. I probably well, should cut off pork. Yeah. Be a friend to the animals and the. Uh, yeah. Are they called the farm animals? Really, they're quite yeah. innocent. They're cute, but I'm not going to try to justify it anymore. It's just. 
it's not, it wouldn't be easy for me to try living it again. It would be quite hard. But I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I'm going to be a vegan, but I can like. Before you make the decision to do anything, just watch Dominion from start to end. Is it stabbing? Yeah. Just watch it. I think I know what it's going to be. But once you know the depths of it and then make whatever choice comes to your heart, at least you've got the knowledge of things and then you can act based on that knowledge. So. But yeah, I'm going to talk to some other people now. Yeah, Take care.